Reviewing Programming Concepts with JavaScript. There are two general code audiences for programming, computers and humans. When we write code, we use keywords, combinations of letters that have special meaning in the programming language we're using. We also write comments. These are notes we leave for ourselves and other programmers. The computer pays attention to the keywords. Humans pay attention to the comments. When we're writing code, we're writing to two different audiences at the same time. In JavaScript, like many other programming languages, single line comments are written using two slashes, slash, slash, the comment, and then it ends at the end of that line. The next line will be code. Multi-line comments use slash asterisk and then asterisk slash Everything between them, even across multiple lines, is now a part of that comment. Comments, of course, are for human audiences. The computer is going to ignore them. Keywords, again, have special meaning in a programming language. An example in JavaScript would be let, L-E-T, which defines a variable whose value can change. Programming involves using different keywords to instruct a computer to perform different tasks. These interact with variables, containers of data, through which they store and change that data. Keywords working with variables to instruct a computer to perform some type of task. Keywords are also used with syntax. These are the rules defining how symbols are used in that programming language. For example, the semicolon in JavaScript is often used to mark the end of a statement. This example right here uses the keyword let, L-E-T, the variable example, then has a start of some syntax, in this case the use of the equal sign. Then the number five, which is the value of the variable example, and then a semicolon at the end. This shows keywords, let, variables, example, and the syntax rules, again defining how symbols are used. In this case, the equal sign before the value, and then the semicolon at the end to mark the end of that statement, the end of that line. So again, syntax works with keywords, which work with variables, all of which define and total a programming language. A syntax error occurs when code does not follow the expected syntax rules of a language. This usually happens when a symbol is forgotten or used in place its rules did not expect. Many text editors, like Visual Studio Code, VS Code for short, use syntax highlighting to help users follow the language's rules. Syntax highlighting uses different color with the syntax of a language to show the rules of that language and help programmers follow along the syntax rules and prevent syntax errors. Let's review what we know then. Going back, we see keywords are used with syntax, which are the rules that define how symbols are used in that language. We see a semicolon and even an equal sign are examples of using special symbols within the syntax rules. Keywords are used with these. We also review that keywords have special meaning in a programming language. An example in JavaScript would be let, L-E-T, and we use keywords with variables to perform different tasks. In JavaScript, we see we can create a single line comment using two slashes, and a comment extends to the end of that line. We can also create multi-line comments using slash asterisk and then asterisk slash. And finally, to rewind all the way back to the beginning, we see there are two general types of code audiences, computers and humans. We write code, we're using keywords. When we write comments, we're leaving notes for ourselves and other programmers.